Okay, let's talk about our front end ride height. And just like some of the other changes we make to the front end of our go-kart, all we're doing is increasing or decreasing the ability to lift the weight off that rear inside wheel when our chassis flexes as we're going through a turn. So what you'll have is you'll have your stub axle and you'll have some spacers. And whether you place these spacers above or below the stub axle is going to determine the ride height of the front end of your go-kart. So let's go over and take a look at the chassis and I'll show you how I make this change. Okay, so we're looking at our stub axle here and what you'll notice is I have one spacer above my stub axle and we've got one spacer below. This is our middle ride height. I'd say that we run our go-kart with this setting 98% of the time. So if I wanted to increase my ride height, all I would do is remove our kingpin bolt. And you're gonna wanna be careful because these spacers will come flying out on you. And if we wanted to increase our ride height, what we would do is we would place both spacers above our stub axle. Just like so. Kind of tricky, get them in there. You gotta get them lined up. Just like so. So now we've increased our ride height. So essentially now the chassis is going to be higher off the ground because our stub axle is sitting lower here. Um, what that's gonna do is that's going to increase the front grip in your go-kart. I may go to this setting, say it's raining real hard. You know, I do not like caster, so I would definitely try increasing this ride height before I added caster. And on the opposite side, say we wanted to have a lower ride height. Just remove our stub, make sure we don't lose our spacers. And then we would move these to the bottom. said it's tricky you got to get these guys lined up just like that so now we've decreased our ride height because the stub axle is actually sitting up higher so now our chassis is going to be lower to the ground so this would provide you less front grip like I said we normally ride ours in the neutral position just another one of those things you're going to need to go out and test and see what works best for your chassis but definitely definitely something that you're going to want to to make sure that you test and change and know how your go-kart reacts.